I'm Lauren Naylor, I'm 29, and my Instagram handle is lnayne. I'm from Florida, uh, I grew up there, and then I went to Florida State University where I studied photography and graphic design. I bought an old 35 millimeter camera and I got a little experimental with that. I did a lot of double exposures, you know, like some trippy stuff. I bought a digital camera um, and slowly started taking more pictures of my friends and my classmates. And then from there, it really just grew into a love of taking pictures of people. I mean, humans are intriguing and I think that I can channel my feelings and my emotions through people better than I can, like, let's say a landscape. I'm kind of using them as a vessel to communicate these ideas that I can't really express through words. I've never been good with words. I use this more visual narrative to convey a feeling or emotion that I have. Even if you're taking like an artsy editorial fashion photo, there's, you get a certain feeling when you look at a photograph. Um, it's an instance in time and that can never be replicated again. Um, even in your head, your memory can still lie to you, but a photograph can't lie. I use a Canon 5D Mark III. I basically only use about three lenses. It's a 24 to 105 for my wider shots. And then I use a, mostly a Sigma Fine Art 50 for my more portrait style. And then I have an 85 um, 1.4 that I use for like a really close up portrait, something more intimate. For me, when I look back on a self portrait, I connect with it so much because I was taking those photos, those self portraits for a reason. and. Um, the nostalgia in them feels more personal and more deep and brings back such strong feelings for me that I could have maybe forgotten if I hadn't have taken those pictures. I think when I was first starting out, I wasn't really fully pursuing photography because I was so overwhelmed with all of the talented people out there and I felt like I wasn't good enough. I didn't take the opportunities that I could have taken, and that's just automatic failure. I'm putting myself in these uncomfortable situations where I'm kind of faking it until I make it. Uh, that's when things really started falling into place for me. I think that the models I use, you know, sometimes I do want that a more fragile look. I ask them to act a certain way to convey that emotion. But sometimes, and a lot of the times actually, I want like a really powerful feel to it because I, you know, being a woman and shooting with primarily women, it's important for me to empower women and make them feel like they're strong and they're um, kind of on top of the world. I think I connect more with the darker emotions, the more sullen emotions, you know, because it's just a part of my character. It's, I, I kind of have a love for melancholy and I think it's easier for me to use photography to kind of project these darker feelings and, and put them somewhere other than just floating around in, in my head.